Okay, we're going to talk about factoring of larger numbers, uh, listing factor pairs. Uh, we're going to talk about doing something that I like to call the ladder method for factoring. It's a number trick. Uh, I'll have to model it, and it's based on um, a principle that we need to observe. Uh, so before we sit here and list the factor pairs of 480, let's take a look at just really quickly here um, this principle which allows us to do ladder method factoring. So the principle is if A is a factor of B and B is a factor of C, then A is a factor of C. Okay, so let's see what that means. Since we see here that in fact 2 is a factor of 8 and 8 is a factor of 40, we're guaranteed to know that 2 goes into 40. 2 is going to be a factor of 40 as well. Similarly here, 5 is a factor of 15, and 15 is a factor of 30. That guarantees that 5 is a factor of 30. And again, we see that 3 is a factor of 12. 12 is a factor of 48, so 3 is a factor of 48. Now let's see if we can identify some things about the relationships here. 2 is a factor of 8, we said, and it goes in 4 times. 8 goes into 40 5 times. And then we see that 2 goes into 40 20 times. Well, the one thing we want to see with that is that 4 times 5 is 20. You're going to need to be able to see that relationship to do the latter method of factoring, which we're going to show in a second. Similarly, 5 goes into 15 3 times, 15 goes into 30 2 times, and that means I can be guaranteed to know that 5 goes into 30 3 times 2 6 times, and it does. Now that may seem obvious, but the one thing I'm trying to demonstrate here is that this principle works for smaller numbers, numbers that you would know the factors for. So, that being said, what happens when we get into larger factors, how we can apply it? Okay, let's skip actually this that last piece of example and get into actually the latter method of factoring. It's going to help you when you are unsure if a number you're wondering is a factor of the given number up here really is because this given number is so big it's hard to know all its factors off the top of your head. So let's uh, do this. We'll list the ones we know and then see if we can apply this um, this principle to factoring trick. Okay, so we know 1 and 480 are the first factor pairs of 480. You always start with 1. 2, although 480 is a big number, we know that 2 goes into it, and we should be able to split the 48 part of it in half for 24, and that is 0 on. Now, 3 I'm not sure about, so let me just hold off on that for a second. And then 4, well, 4 goes into 4 once, 8 twice, and you can bring down the 0 mentally. And what about 5? Well, 5 goes in the 480, but I don't know how many times off the top of my head. And then we got 6. 6 goes in the 480 also. Now, how do I know that? Well, 6 goes into 120, and 120 goes in the 480, so I can guarantee that 6 goes in the 480. Now here's the trick for finding its its pair, okay? 6 goes into 120 20 times, and 20 times 4 is going to be 80. So that is how we help use this ladder by not using the 480, but by using 120 or any number in this list. 
So let's take a look. If you could see that, you'll sit there and say, hmm, I see that 3 goes into 120 four, 40 times. And then 40 times 4 is going to be 160. So you could always fill in these missing factors if you're not sure of them. So let's keep going here. Okay, and we'll see that this goes decently quickly. So, for instance, 7 does not go into 480. But I know 8 does because it goes into 80. It goes in 10 times, and 10 times 6 is 60. Okay, so then we've got that 9 does not go into 480, but we know the 10 does. Now you should know that your 10 trick should just be something where it's like, okay, I can hack the 0 off the end and get 48. Okay, so how can we continue to go here? Then we've got 11, no, 12 goes into 480 because it goes into 48. It goes into 48 four times, and 4 times 10 is going to be 40. Now I can go back to the 5 and see that 5 goes into 40 eight times, and 8 times 20, excuse me, 8 times 12 is going to be 96. 13 doesn't go into 480, 14 doesn't. A quick look here, it says 14 doesn't go into any of these numbers in this column. 15, well, 15 goes into 60. So we know that it goes into 480. 15 goes into 60 four times. Four times eight is 32. Now what else do we have? We've got 16. Ooh, well 16 goes into 32 twice times 15 will give me 30. And then, let's see, did we miss anything? Well, then we see 17 doesn't go into anything here, so it probably doesn't go into 480. And 18 doesn't. 19, 20. Oh, well, 20 goes into 40 twice. 20 goes into 42 times, and then 2 times 12 will give me 24. Lots of ways you can sort of climb this ladder here. Okay, it takes a little practice, but again, it's based on this principle here. If A is a factor of B, B is a factor of C, then A is a factor of C. So it takes a little practice. It's good for bigger numbers. Um, you know, I encourage you to watch this video or parts of it a couple times uh, and use the pause button. Okay? So uh, good luck and uh, happy factoring. I need to make